Hello there, I am Sir Fancy and these are blueprints you should know and today I would like to talk about function, macro and custom event. Well, first of all, let's get some overview of them and see what they are actually for. Well, basically you can combine sets of nodes, sets of code into one function, macro or custom event. For example, let's say that you want to create part of code that's responsible for shooting enemy or that enemy dying. Well, you can hide that part of code and inside function, macro or custom event. And each of them has a bit different properties. For example, the function, the main advantage is that it's super cheap. It gets processed once and then the computer will remember what it processed and then just repeat it and repeat it. And the other huge advantage is that it can communicate in between blueprints. Right now this one is uh, created in first person blueprint, but if I want, I can call it from different blueprints. But because of that, you also cannot use any time nodes, which means no delay, not timeline and any of that. But for that, you usually have macro. Macro's advantage that you can have as many pins as you want. But it's processed every single time the flow of blueprints get to that macro, which makes it a bit more expensive. And the other thing is that it can't communicate, which means you cannot call macro from one blueprint to another, which is basically just set of code without any coverage, any box that you would put it into. You are probably very familiar with events because right here we have event for fire, event for most commonly known probably begin play, event kick, etc. And it can also communicate from different nodes. You can also, of course, combine them. Let's say that you want to create macro, but macro cannot be called from other blueprint. So you will create custom event. That custom event will be called from other blueprint. And the only thing that custom event will do is to take this macro. That, of course, could work. Well, let's get to some demonstrations. I'm working here in first person character, so let's do something here. Let's say, for example, that I want to deal damage every time this ball hits something, but I don't know how much damage I want to give. And let's say that I want to calculate it based on velocity, so it will deal damage based on its speed. So for that, we will have to go into first person character, and let's first of all, let's create here a new function. That function will be right here, click here, plus function, and let's call it deal damage or just DMG. And so what I want to do here is first of all, I need to get velocity of that. Velocity is basically its speed. So let's get velocity. And the thing is that I don't have any target from which I want to take it from. But because function can be called from different blueprints what i can do is to simply connect it here and put that ta and choose the target once i will call that blueprint <laughs> once, uh, once i will call that function from that velocity let's take vector length and for start let's just print it because i want to know how much it is all right connect it here and now let's go into first person projectile and we also we already have here some functionality for event hit so after it will be hit it will do something but before all this just let's do some casting we'll cast to first person character as object get player character and now from here i can simply call the function so let's call here deal damage and connect it right here. As target, we also have to set our first personal character. And right now it's going kind of messy because we have two targets. So let's double click on deal damage. And if you click on that function right here on deal damage, you can change this input into, let's say, damaged bullet. Right, compile. And if you click back here, it changed. And I want to take in this case i want to just click it or uh, set it on self so take from the damage bullet and put here self so it will take this first person projectile or blueprint and take its velocity right here and print it out so let's see and you can see that the problem is that it never will be destroyed so i will just simply Take all this out and destroy actor. I don't want it to bounce in any way. All right. So now you can see that once it hit it, it shows on the left upper corner what velocity it had. So now it's 29,000. And if I let it fly for a while, it's about 29,007. 
and if I will be very close to it, it will be about 3000, I believe. Oh, all right, now we got 3000. That's a fail state starts with. I wonder if we can get it as low as. Now we probably can't get it under 29. So what I want to do is to go back to deal damage and I don't want to print it anymore. I want to take that vector length and set it divided by 100 or maybe even 1000. Then take that value and I don't have here any variable that would uh, actually show my health, but let's say that I want, will create one. So let's create here float. Oh, come on. Let's create here float that will be called health. And set it to float. And by default, it will be on 100. So what I want to do here is simply set my health and then get my health and take my health, set it to minus to this number and then print it. So print string. All right, so now you can see that I have health of 97. But if I hit it again and again, it changes based on how fast that bullet worked. You would of course need to work with velocity and probably rework all this and create here a bit different mathematical operation to actually get the right number and the right amount of damage. But right now I got into minus, so I have basically killed myself. That's one of the ways that you could really use function. So now let's look into macro. Well, let's create a new macro again, left left down the corner and just new macro. And let's go, let's see if we can check uh, how, if score is high enough. So let's call it check score. Yes, first of all, I want to have two input pins. So click all, uh, so right here you can see inputs and I want to add here execution pin or you can, and you can add here as many variables as you want. And first one will be called yes, and the other one will be called no. I'm just making it up right now, to be honest. And I don't need any output. So if it will be yes, I want to set health back to 100. I don't know why I called it check score. Let's change it to check health. That's why you should prepare even for making videos. <laughs> And if it will be no, I don't want to do anything. I just want to leave health as it is. Uh, that's usually a pretty way, stupid way to do it because we would, wouldn't need macro to do something like that. But let's say that you want, if it will be no, you want it to, I don't know, set health and set it to minus something. So take health and health, set it to minus, float minus float and set it to minus 50. All right, and I want to call it on event begin play. I think that I already have it here somewhere. Yep, right here. Okay, that's just for VR stuff. You can delete that. And I want to call that check health. And now I can choose which one it should go into. And let's say that I don't know. So I will put here branch. I want if I want it to have be completely random. I don't know why you would check uh, why would you check a health run on random, but all, all up to. You. I'm just showing you how you can use it. I want to put here a random boolean, and it will choose one of them. And I want it to delay. I want it uh, one second after start of the game. And then let's actually change my mind. Let's add here execution pin output just one, call it out and you can connect both of them in here. And I want to print my health. So print string and my health. All right, let's wait for a bit. And it uh, was set back to 100. Let's try it again. Again, back to 100, come on, give me some different random. And now it's on 50 because it randomly chose one of them. But as I said, main thing with macro is that you can actually put here delay, so, or timeline. You can put here delay before that. 
and let's say that you won't wait a bit longer etc etc you get the point how to work with macros and if you can work with macro and functions you basically can work with custom events it's completely the same thing you just need to create custom event at custom event let's call it check uh, gun and create some code after that so for example print string that string will be press the like button and i can call it from anywhere and let's say that i want to make it a bit more interesting so i will create here another macro so create here macro call it test and i want to add here one input it will be execution pin and add here for loop uh, for each loop no for loop sorry my bad for loop i want to repeat it uh, eight times and the loop body should be this oh no, that's kind of stupid the loop body should be printing string and what kind of string will be set here and once it will be completed it will go out of there so now this is this is actually a pretty good way if you want to test something and you don't want it to show only once you can create this test macro right here put it after check gun and that string as i said should be press the like button if you haven't already after i don't want to call it loop but i want to go it out and after out uh, that's everything i don't want to do anything else and let's put it after our event begin play so i will call this check gun custom event which will call this macro it's as I said, this is a pretty stupid way to do it. I could just connect here that macro, but that's just how to demonstrate how it works. You could uh, do that if you wanted call that check gun from different blueprint. And now it should print this text uh, eight or nine times right here on the left screen. So let's see, and you can see that it's right there. Anyway, shoot, it will all, of course, do everything. Well, that's about it. I hope that you learned something. If you know about other blueprints that you think every other developer should know, let me know down in comments. I will hopefully make a video about them. And as I said, that's about it. Well, have a nice day, nice week, or whatever you do right now. Surf fancy out.